Hi beloved, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. The Lord welcomes you too. My name is Evangel Blessings and I have a word from the Lord for somebody today. But please, um, bear with me, okay? Bear with me on the sound, the background noise, okay? I'm outside today, so I decided to come out take fresh air. So listen, I have a word from the Lord for somebody and it's for a particular person who is having low self-confidence. You're having issue with your confidence, okay? You don't you, you you want to work for the Lord, but you don't know if you're supposed to um, be a certain way. If you're supposed to be bold, if you're supposed to be um, fearless, if you're supposed to be cool or calm and collected, you're you're kind of having double mind, okay? Because you're trying to shape your identity to the paradigm of the society of the world. Okay, but the Lord has a message for you. He said, I have called you differently. You are unique in all your ways. Okay, I chose you for who you are. Now, who are you? Yeah, that's the question. Go to the mirror. Look at yourself. What do you see? What do you see? Who do you see? Then he says, after you do that, he has a question for you. Whose daughter are you? Whose son are you? If you are his, then who is he? If he's the lion of the tribe of Judah, then it means what? That you're the child of a lion. Now, how are you supposed to be a lion when you don't even understand your identity? The Lord has sent me to you. Okay? He said the way you are is how he loves you. Don't change for any reason. Okay? That's why he selected you. The world has shaping their ideas, their ideology, their self. Okay, they've created a paradigm for themselves and they're living up to that expectation. But you, my darling, he says he loves your innocence. He loves just how you are, how crazy you can be, how funny you can be, how calm and collected you can be at the same time. So he says to tell you, don't bother about figuring how you're going to get there. Everything is a step in life. Someday you're going to figure out who exactly you truly are. But for today, from now, he said to move with the speed and the frequency the Holy Ghost comes with. My God, thank you, Lord Jesus. He says to tell you to move with the frequency the Holy Ghost comes to. Be bold. He says to tell you, be bold. Be bold and fearless. He's a lion. Now, what do you think makes a lion a lion? A lion is not um, um, a lion because it's the strongest animal in the world. Nah. It's not, the, it's not the lion or the king of the jungle because it's the biggest. We have the elephant. He's not the stronger because he's the most fastest or the most fearless. No, we have the leopard for that. Okay? But what makes the, the, the lion a lion? What makes it a lion? What creates the difference? Is the mindset, my God. He knows he don't got to run from anything or anybody. He knows in his own way he's unique. And when he step out, Lines just fall in places for him. People and things just align for his sake. That's what's up. That's what the Lord is telling you. <laughs> I have two babies here <laughs> behind me. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I've got to go. That's a word from the Lord for somebody. I hope you feel encouraged. He said, how you are is how you should be. You want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> she, has, she has run away. <laughs> so he said to tell you, exactly how i saw you and chose you is how i want you to be okay but he said to tell you i'm going to be making corrections on how you dress i'm going to be making corrections on how you you know how you judge how you cancel how you talk from time to time i'm going to give you corrections just listen to me hear me pay pay um pay mind to what i'll be saying take heed that's the only thing but come as you are. That's what the Lord is telling you. The Lord bless you. May he keep me. He give you confidence. Mm. May he give you a spirit of, of power, of love, of, of a sound mind. To be bold to come before him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom, beloved. The Lord loves you. Bye. <laughs>